रिएक्शन विद ऑक्सीजन एंड नाइट्रोजन फॉर्मेशन एंड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सिंपल ऑक्साइड फॉर्मेशन एंड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ पर ऑक्साइड फॉर्मेशन एंड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ नाइट्राइड्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस रिएक्टिविटी ट्रेंड ऑफ ग्रुप टू एलिमेंट्स विद वॉटर फॉर दिस वी यूज अ टॉन्ग टू पिक टू पिक अ पीस ऑफ मेटल एंड ड्रॉप इट इन टू द वॉटर now observe carefully what will happen we will take these med uh, these metals magnesium calcium strontium and barium for showing their reactions as barium does not react with water even at steam cold water steam or even at red heat next is magnesium magnesium reacts with steam to gives you magnesium oxide and hydrogen gas magnesium also react with cold water cold water its behavior is slightly different by producing magnesium hydroxide and hydrogen gas this reaction takes place after several uh, several minutes when you see some bubbles of hydrogen are forming at its surface then the reaction stops the reaction stops because this magnesium hydroxide form an insoluble layer on the magnesium metal and act as a barrier on the magnesium for further reaction next calcium strontium and barium these all react with water even at cold state first is calcium calcium react vigorously with cold water and this reaction is highly exothermic bubbles of hydrogen gas are given out and white precipitate of calcium hydroxides are formed general equation is x axis metal like calcium strontium and barium that react with two molecules of water to gives you metal hydroxides with hydrogen gas the hydroxides are not very soluble but their solubility increases as we move down the group calcium hydroxide form above are in the form of white precipitates as you move down the group formation more of the hydroxides are dissolved in the water and less precipitates are formed finally we can conclude that group 2 metals become more and more reactive as we go down the group actually when we move down the group energy needed to form positive ions falls why because atom size is increasing ionization energy is decreasing so it's more easier to lose the electrons and form cation or positive ion like you can see that beryllium to beryllium increases this is because it is easier to remove electrons to form positive two ions although shielding effect is also increased but overall when atomic size is increased it becomes more easier to remove electrons from the outermost shell that is ionization energy decrease helps in favoring the formation of plus two ions now the next is reaction of group 2 elements with oxygen when group 2 elements react with oxygen they form oxides two types of oxides are more common that is simple oxides and per oxides let us discuss these oxides one by one first is simple oxides how simple oxides are formed they can be produced by two ways first is by direct direct reaction of alkaline earth metal with oxygen to form simple metal oxides 
the next is by decomposition of carbonates at high temperature it again gives you simple oxide like calcium carbonate decompose or uh, it is break down at high temperature and gives you calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide next is properties of simple oxides simple oxides are white crystalline solids and exist in crystal lattice crystal lattice is just like sodium chloride exist in crystal lattice their oxides are extremely stable because crystal lattice is very strongly bounded and high lattice energy is required to break that crystal lattice Beryllium oxide and magnesium oxide are insoluble in water. Calcium oxide, strontium oxide, and barium oxide react with water and give soluble hydroxides, which are strong bases. Beryllium oxide is amphoteric in nature. That is, it it react with HCl and gives you sulfate plus water. It gives you salts plus water. This reaction with HCl shows that beryllium oxide is showing its basic behavior over here. Next is beryllium oxide react with base to give you Na2BeO2. These are known as these complex compounds are known as beryllates and plus two water molecule. In this reaction, beryllium oxide behaves as basic. In uh, as acidic uh, oxide that react with base. Other oxides are basic in nature, and their basic character increases down the group. Because of small size of Be plus two ion, it is covalent in nature, while other oxides are ionic. Beryllium oxide is covalent and have high melting points and is harder as it is polymeric in nature. Beryllium oxide is covalent and have high melting points and is harder as it is polymeric. Each beryllium atom is tetrahedrally coordinated by four oxygen atoms. Each beryllium atom can make four can make bonds with four oxygen atoms. The next are peroxides. First, peroxides of heavier metals like calcium, strontium, and barium can be prepared by heating normal oxides with oxygen at high temperature. Like barium oxide plus oxygen gives you BaO2, that is peroxides. Properties of peroxides are they are white ionic solids and they react with sulfuric acid to give barium sulfate and H2O. The next is nitrides. Nitrides are group 2 metals that is alkaline earth metals have the ability to react with the nitrogen to give nitrides. Calcium react with nitrogen and form calcium nitride that is CA3N2. Properties of Nitrides are, they react with water to produce calcium hydroxide and ammonia. Beryllium nitrates are volatile while other nitrates are not. I hope you have enjoyed the lecture. Thank you and have a nice day.